Hello, my name is Gabriel Monvoy, and I am a technical leader for the Cisco ACI Solutions technology. Today I will review the process to begin addressing fault F3274 fabric end cap mismatch. For additional information on this fault, please review the Addressing ACI Fault Code F3274 document. This document also includes a link to the ACI pre-upgrade validator script, which can assist in the process of identification and correction. Outage warning. During the correction process, it is possible to converge access policies in such a way where a VLAN pool VLAN block combination is completely removed from an affected leaf. The moment this occurs, any VLAN referencing the base value which was removed will be reprogrammed, resulting in a brief outage. As a result, a planned outage window is recommended for the correction activity. Let us begin by summarizing the why and how. In ACI, every EPG VLAN has a corresponding VXLAN called the Fabric NCAP or EPG VNID. The VXLAN base value referenced during allocation is derived from the defined access policies, specifically to the VLAN pool VLAN block relationships. The object that represents this is of the STP alloc NCAP block def class. If multiple instances of this object exist on a leaf given access policy lookup for a single EPG VLAN, the VXLAN base value selection will be non-deterministic. This means that every reprogramming of that VLAN has a chance to use any available VXLAN base value. In this fault example, we can see that VLAN ID 768 has been flagged as having a VNIN mismatch across its VPC peers. Using the ACI pre-upgrade validation script, we can quickly identify which EPGs have references to domains with overlapping VLANs, as well as get additional information on which VXLAN value is programmed for VLANs identified as having fabric and cap mismatches. In this example output, we can see that EPG3 has two domains, DOM1 and DOM2, with overlapping VLANs. Because of this, VLAN 768 of EPG3 is using VXLAN 8660 on node 101, but is using VXLAN 8492 on node 103. Now that we have identified overlaps and mismatches, we can validate which object is being referenced for the mismatch VNIDs using a MO query against it. The fabric end cap equation is the base value of this object plus the defined end cap minus the from end cap. Using the example VLAN 768 and referencing the MoQuery output, if VLAN 768 is deriving its VXLAN from VLAN pool 1, the resulting VNID will be 8492. If VLAN 768 derives its base value from VLAN pool 2, the resulting VNID is 8660. We can refer to these diagrams as a representation of the configured APIC policies. On the left, we can see that EPG3 has a relationship to both DOM1 and DOM2. On the right, we have a simplified view of the completed access policies for the switches and VLAN in question. From this diagram, VLAN 768 of VLAN pool 1 is overlapping with the range of VLANs from VLAN pool 2. While there are multiple approaches to correct this, the goal is the same for all of them, to ensure that all domains referencing any given EPG do not have any overlapping VLANs. One approach to correction is to remove the overlapping VLAN from all but one VLAN pool being referenced. This approach may not be ideal if the overlaps exist across large ranges of VLAN blocks, as opposed to dealing with single VLAN block overlaps. Another correction approach is to point all reference domains to the same VLAN pool. Missing VLANs will have to be created on the target VLAN pool. If VMM domains are in use, take care to validate which VLANs are set to dynamic versus static allocation prior to conversions. A third approach is to consolidate the EPGs to a single domain where applicable. This approach may not be feasible if utilizing multiple VMM domain integrations. In summary, there are a variety of considerations to keep in mind during the correction process, including VMM domain usage and existing VLAN block definition. Carefully analyzing the expected usage on a domain-by-domain -domain basis will ensure a smooth correction process. Thank you for your time.